What's up guys? This is Naz and of course this is the Fitness Motivate YouTube channel. Today's video is going to give you five quick tips to stay on track with your nutrition through the holidays. So I really wanted to do this video because the holidays are such a struggle for most people staying on track with their fitness. Number one tip is to plan ahead, plan your meals in advance. If you already have a plan, as far as macros or meal prep or whatever kind of plan you're on, stick to that plan. And yes, you're going to have holiday parties, you're going to have events, you're going to have a Christmas dinner, those type of things. But that doesn't mean every single meal has to be bad. You don't have to have Christmas cookies for every single meal. So <laughs> you don't have to completely fall off because you're gonna have one or two bad meals. So for every bad meal, make sure you have three to five good ones. So that's gonna help you out. You're not gonna be as hungry, you're not gonna overeat as much. But if you're eating, if you're just throwing everything out the window because you're having one or two bad meals, then that really, that's where most people are going to have a lot of trouble there. So it's it's all about mindset and if it's important to you to be healthier, to feel better, uh, to stay in shape during the holidays, then you're going to. So make sure you have a plan and stick to that plan. So getting those healthy meals in is important, it's vital, making sure you have energy and you're not just eating nothing but junk. Number two is actually be honest with yourself. So if you are going to a, a uh, dinner where there's a lot of bad food or a lot of temptation, plan for that in advance and be honest with yourself about what you're going to eat and how much and don't beat yourself up about it. So if you go into it knowing, hey, you're gonna have that slice of pumpkin pie and maybe some, some ham and stuffing and just go into that, enjoy it fully, and don't beat yourself up about it. It's not gonna set you back that much. What will set you back is beating yourself up, getting into that feedback loop that you're feeling bad and then you're stress eating because of that and it's just a vicious cycle. So you never wanna beat yourself up about it, just be honest with yourself about what you're doing, why you're doing it, if it's just for the sheer enjoyment of it or you're in a social setting and you you really just want to enjoy yourself or relax a little bit then just own that and move on and eat healthier throughout the the course of the next few days or the next few weeks and again it doesn't have to be every single meal now number three i really like this tip and something i like to utilize is if you're gonna have some sweets, some Christmas cookies, you don't necessarily need to eat them or snack on them right then and there. You can save that and actually eat it as a post-workout meal, which I actually did today. I had some delicious Christmas cookies that one of our clients, one of our wonderful clients, brought us at results and that, so even if you're in the gym, you're gonna have that, uh, you're going to have a lot of options and a lot of uh, decadent food around around the holidays and really any time of year. So it's not just the holidays. There's always gonna be temptation out there. So how you deal with that and whether you choose to indulge or you choose not to indulge, that's completely up to you. And the way you do it and how you time those meals is gonna be just as important. So. Uh, as you know, right after your workout, you're gonna be a lot more glycogen sensitive, so you're gonna be able to utilize that refined sugar a lot better at that point in the day than any other time. So that's the ideal time if you do want something sugary. So if you want that sugary treat, just save it for that post-workout meal and also make sure you drink some protein with it. So not just the carbohydrates, but you have some protein. So have a protein shake and those cookies at the same time. So I did uh, today, my protein shake was rule one. I had the toasted cinnamon crunch and it was like one scoop of that and then it mixed it with salted caramel. 
uh, because I only had one scoop left of the uh, toasted cinnamon crunch flavor, but tasted delicious. It actually tasted like Christmas cookies, and then I had those uh, Christmas cookies in addition to that, so it was a really uh, beneficial and delicious post-workout meal. Number four is if you're eating in excess uh, for those events, those Christmas dinners, those type of things, you have a lot of heavy meals. Now, you know if you're eating an excess of calories consistently, then you're gonna gain weight. That's uh, scientifically, if you continue taking in excess calories, you will gain weight and body fat if you're taking in more than you're burning, right? So knowing that, what we need to do is obviously cut back on calories a little bit elsewhere. Now, the way we do that is super important. The last thing you want to do is cut out healthy meals so you can eat those bad dinners. You really don't want to do that. But what you can do is lessen your portion sizes very slightly in each meal. So let's say if you are taking in 2,500 calories uh, per day, take in 2,300 for a week leading up to that heavy meal. Uh, five to six days, uh, depending on how bad you're going to eat that uh, in that one sitting, and just to make up for that uh, caloric surplus that you're taking in. But never, never skip a meal, especially not a healthy meal. So the last thing you want to do is skip your nutrition uh, so you can overindulge. That is something you're never going to win with that type of philosophy. And then number five, stay hydrated. Um, I'm a little bit behind today. I haven't finished my first gallon until right around one o'clock. I usually finish by no later than noon. I have a, uh, so I plan to have two gallons at a minimum every day based on my body weight and uh, the amount of work output that I put in each day. So two gallons typically is a normal day for me. Now, during the winter, you're typically not going to be as thirsty. So around the holidays, it's actually going to be a little bit harder. It's going to take a little bit more discipline to get that water intake in. So first thing in the morning, make sure you're hydrating. You're going to be most dehydrated when you wake up in the morning. So make sure you're starting the day strong, hydrating. That's going to be beneficial in a couple of ways. So it's going to help you out. You're going to be a little bit more full so you won't feel the need to overeat as much. Uh, it's going to help you process and digest all the food, of course, uh, as well as help you metabolize body fat. But by staying hydrated, you won't have the room to overeat as much either. Uh, if you're taking in enough water, you're just not going to have room in your stomach for all that extra food. So, those are your five quick tips. Hopefully that helped you out a little bit, gave you a little insight, and gave you a little motivation to stay on track and know that it's possible to actually stay in shape, stay in great shape, you know, keep those abs, not put, a lot, put on a lot of fat during the holidays. Now, don't wait to start till New Year's. Don't wait to start your workouts till New Year's. Don't wait to start your diet till New Year's. Start today, hey, if it's important to you, if you wanna get in better shape, if you want to improve your fitness and nutrition, improve your health, just feel better, look better in general, uh, do something about it today. Just one thing. If you can do two or three things, that's even better. But just one thing, uh, drink a little bit more water. Eat one or two more healthy meals. You know, cut back on those, those sweets or those fried foods. Uh, and just move a little bit more. So just know, even if it's not perfect, there's something you can do today. And that's all mindset. So it, Regardless of where you're at, what you've got going on, there's somebody in your same position that is getting better. So that should motivate you alone uh, that it can be done. And if you want it bad enough, you will do it. So please subscribe to the channel if you like the video, if this helped you out in any way, and uh, hit that bell notification so you'll be notified every time I come out with a new video. Also, uh, comment below for any suggestions you have for me on how I can improve the channel, on videos you'd like to see. I would love to hear some feedback from some of uh, you uh, great fans and supporters of the channel. Uh, always really love hearing feedback from all of y'all. Like the video if you actually like the video. Dislike it if you didn't like it. Uh, just, you know, smash that uh, thumbs up or thumbs down 
and I will see you in the next video.